Welcome from the side is Adam, medical trainer and mobility coach. In today's video with me is Yuri. Yuri yes. is a gymnastics, professional gymnastics from Ukraine. So from the young age already you are working on mobility, flexibility all the time to be able to reach this perfect seat. But during this competition, the high level athletes, they always get a, a lot of pressure coming eh, through all of the movements. So it's also coming the limitation. Yes, yeah? so kind of that, that pressure, that power what you're involving, then it's also that you say that you have always physiotherapists working with you. Yeah, that's, that's why kind uh, yes. of medical training yes. also is going to be very important yes. to be able to improve all the time, eh? lose mobility and loosen up the tension what you have in process, what you have in process yes. of training. Yeah. Uh, yes, that's right. But because when you do, again, mm -hmm. when you do high level gymnastics, you cannot to, to do it only on your health. Yeah, mm -hmm. everyone know what your health, I mean, your coaches know what you're healthy. Yeah, but again, the doctors is next to you always. Mm -hmm. They try to recover you immediately after injury. What is so, the common injury in uh, gymnastics? What is the, the most the most injuries is shoulders, shoulder and shoulders, probably yeah. elbows, right? elbows, elbows, shoulder, yes. wrist. Eh? Yeah, shoulders and low back, lower back as well. Lower back, uh -huh. yeah. So why again like this? Because everything what you see, you are using shoulders in gymnastics. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. first. Yes, overuse, what over, overworking. Yes. Yeah. At the moment on the stage, what do you feel the most also? For you, shoulder and uh, lower back, yeah, you say that. Yeah, you yeah. From sport, yeah, mm -hmm. my lower back is mm -hmm. need attention. <laughs> and for the beginners, if the beginners comes in here, they to try. You say that you have also a lot of people who wants to do the basic yeah, yeah. And, learn, and they come and they have limitation in the movement. Very often you have probably people who spend the time sitting in the sitting position by computer. Yeah. yeah. Come straight from the office, hours yeah, exactly. of sitting, yeah, they come with a kyphotic position. Of course. Yes. And now let's do gymnastics. And, and the impossible. first thing and the first yeah. thing as Adam said, what I yes. I am really look looking Forward. at, yeah, it's on the here. bone here. Mm -hmm. Because the people who are sitting on computer a lot they're they, gonna be like, yes, us. like yes. this. And as, as more you sit on computer then, with age, as more your bone is going. And another important thing that if you are ready with this position, that you have a lack of mobility in the yes. shoulder, you are yeah. not able to perform anything yes. with a good form and technique. It's going to lead you to injury. That's why it's important to open up properly, stretch out, which is going to prepare you for yeah. anything in sport and yeah, discipline. Yeah, that's what we are, we are doing here. Gymnastics is starting from warm up and mm -hmm. all, all exercises we are doing first for mobility, you're mm -hmm. absolutely right. Okay, let's see what we can improve for you. And let, uh, if you will be able to improve his performance as well by mobility, of course, his skill is on top level, but of course, by uh, working on mobility, opening uh, the joints and everything, so stretch out, extra can help as well. Yeah, I need that, I need that. Even mm -hmm. if you are a gymnast, even if you perform high level, believe me, we are same people as you. Yeah. We know oh. just how to do giants, but the body is the same. And we also need... Important to, yes. after the, all of this session yes. training, don't yes. spend the time in the wrong position. Yeah? Yes. With the bad habits as well, yes, yeah? because exactly. that can get you worse. Yes, that's if the something thing. is overworking, yeah? over tension, and then you're going to keep sitting in that position, yeah. it's going to get you in problem. So that's the another thing. What mm -hmm. when you do high level sport, you cannot to quit it immediately. I you don't, you cannot to think like this. I cannot to, I don't want to do it anymore. I will stop it. So no, you need to prepare your quit. So once you decide to do not do any more sport on high level, you need another half year to prepare your body to quit the sport. To live smart, yeah. The yeah. Game. Yeah, if you will quit it immediately, ah, tomorrow I will not do it anymore. Okay, in the first months, two months, months you will feel mm -hmm. good, but then you will start to After feel... After that, yeah, yes. you will get the price to yes, pay for everything exactly. what you were yeah. working on, eh, yes. for the heart level. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's see. So let's lay down on the back for me. Let's see what we can on your back. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, so first thing what I always check is at least same like a street workout. It's similar because they put a lot of pressure on the shoulders, on the chest by all of the exercise. So we can see that we have a missing rotation, internal rotation. It should be down on the ground. And we can see we have like 30 centimeters off. And then external rotation as well. Yes, so he is loose. You see, we, he is not touching. Yeah, comparing to someone who has a good base of mobility should be able to place very easy. Yes, and then we're gonna if we're gonna ch talk about the uh, rot uh, in here range of motion for the shoulders. So if you're gonna press in here, then we are this one is not that bad. Yes, of course, we, we can feel that there is a little bit movement the restriction, but the other one. Let's see. The other one, it was worse. Yes, so here, rotation, and here. Yes, and we're stopping in this place. Okay. Yeah, so this one. One, two, three. All right. So, what I can tell if if I press in here, this is going to be a little bit here, yeah, painful area. Here. That one. Yes, you feel tension here and here. <laughs> here. Okay. Yeah. Also, lots, eh? If I press in here, the shoulder is already moving, yes? To the side. Okay, so, then you say that you have a problem with the lower back. With middle, Let's see. yeah, with low back also and with middle back. Yes. If I take in here, this is a Thomas test, the leg is a little bit moving. So, what I can say that the anterior side, in here in the hip, yes, is tense, yeah? Right? So, this one, so hip flexure, yes, and it's, it's overworking in that area, anterior side. Let's see, other side as well. Other one, okay. Also, it's lifting, lift, and in here we feel also, yeah, it's a bit pain here. Also, this one is very tight yeah, and stiff here, the front. So, we can see that this he is putting so much pressure and tension that this one is it's not even loose and very stiff. You feel so, Pawasa's muscle in here, okay. I feel, yeah, so we would have to. To be able to bring it back mobility in here and loosen up hip flexure, we have to go and from here, we have to start from the top, yeah? Loosen up. Because this is a lot of pressure coming here whenever you do. It's, yes, and it's you also feel it's very sensitive, yeah, yes? That yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. and now let's see from the, yes, oh, 10 FL muscle. So I could hear already click in here, yes? So those, if I put this one, okay, shoulder is. Yes, up and should be on the ground. Yes, yes. So we can, I uh, will see if we can, if in here we touch this area. Yes, you feel it, the pressure here? Of course. Yes, a lot, eh? A lot. <laughs> okay, uh, and other side. Let's see. Here. Mm -hmm. And also shoulders up. So we can see if we later we will be able to go down with this here. Okay, down. Now let's see. In here rotation. So internal rotation, a little bit limited in the hip. External rotation, whoa, very bad, yeah. So we have missing in here rotation in the hip already, so I can tell. This one one. And then other one, let's see. Here, yes, yeah, it's quite similar. Okay, in here a bit a bit better. So the right hip is more turning, yes, inwards, internal rotation than external rotation. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see, it's laying down on the front, on the chest. Let's lay down on the chest, okay. Let's see, oh. Here I feel a little bit tension, yes, on that side. Let's see how's your uh, yes. So try to lift, try to lift the leg up from here, from this position. This one, this one, yeah, uh, against me. Go, 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 go. Okay. So glutes is active. Let's see hamstring push. Uh, do not let me pull down. Yeah. So contract. Okay. Hamstring is working. Good. In here. Yes. Okay. One and going up. One, two, three. It's working. Good. In. Push. Okay, so in here everything is working, glutes are active, hamstring is strong as well. We're gonna open up in here, do not let me open. Hold it, hold it. Oh, abductor is strong. Yes, let's see. Abductors, go. Do not let me close, do not let me close. Yeah, do not let me close. Yes, opposite, opposite. Okay, so in here, 
abductors and hip rotators are weak. So mainly problem is here, yeah, hip rotators here, and that's why this one is stiff as well. Yeah? So we have to work on that one. Okay, so we can come back laying on the back again. We're gonna start from the breathing exercise to be able to loosen up the tension. So I will Master. bring my... Okay, so this one is gonna be perfect for you to lay down on the back. Okay. Uh, please remember that the neck is gonna be out of, out of roller, okay. not on the roller. This one is gonna be for the back, this one for the glutes. Eh? Okay. Or for the lower back. Yeah, so yes, a little bit higher we need to be, a little bit higher. Okay. Now, we're gonna be improving your breathing pattern and loosen up in the same time tension from the shoulders and from the chest. How we gonna do this? So I'm gonna press on your diaphragm to activate your diaphragm in here and you're gonna keep on breathing, deep breathing, shoulders gonna go up, yeah? So five seconds, inhale. Ready. And exhale, okay? There we go. So, yes, but in here we need to relax, yeah? This is super <laughs> tight, <laughs> stiff. So it's in here really... I need you to work with me and you're gonna okay. push whenever you're breathing. Your air is gonna be filling, uh, yeah, fill up in here. So you need to push my fingers up. And you go, deep breathing up. One, two, three, and again. Yes, from here, I go five seconds. Inhale, one, going, going. One, two, three, four, five, and exhale down. And again, in. One, two, three, four, five, and down. And trying to touch with the hands to the floor. Yeah? If if you don't feel pain, of course. If you don't feel pain, and if you can, yes. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, and down. Yes, and deep breathing. See, it's very shallow breathing. So athlete, high level. <laughs> yes, but the breathing pattern, so your diaphragm is not working properly. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, and down. And exhale, loose. Again, and again, in. One, two, three, four, five, down, loose. Okay, better, going. One, two, three, four, five, down. So thanks to this method, we're gonna be able to loosen up the tension in here from the abdominal and lower abdominal area to, re to be able to release the hips without the pain. Because I could go in, on the trigger points right away, but it's gonna be very painful. Same chest and shoulders. So thanks to only breathing exercise, we're gonna be able to loosen up everything in much easier way. Yes? So, so wait, wait, yes? let, let me say, uh, mm -hmm. let me ask one more time. Mm -hmm. How much you charge for per, per, <laughs> per hour? <laughs> maybe, no, per maybe, yeah, per session. Maybe I needed two hours, maybe three hours. <laughs> how, how how long do I, do you think you uh -huh. need to work with me to bring everything back? I bring in a proper way. Yeah. The best if you would start, for example, uh, at the beginning two times a week. Okay. And then we can do even once a week. Yeah. Okay, great. And, and, then you and the course. See improvement, yeah? The course for yeah, that's what I. But uh, it also requires a lot of work from you. I yeah. can give you tools and and homework, and yeah. you're working by yourself. Yeah. And then okay. I'm you back think to you. in one month I can be? Yeah, you can improve a lot. A lot. In Twelve yeah. session, for example. Twelve yeah, We're gonna improve a lot. Okay, you that's see, good. Yeah, session by session, you're gonna be much yeah. better. There we go. Up, 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 all the way, all the way, all the way, and down. For the athletes, for the people who are active, it's easier to bring the function to the proper level, especially for gymnastics. And I'm not talking about bodybuilders, <laughs> because that is a long process. But for active and healthy people, like here, it's gonna be much, much easier, much faster than for not active, non-active people, or for people who are on, never stretch and only bring the, pull the big weights. You see the shoulders at the beginning, they were like this, up, yes? Yeah. And now they are touching the floor, going. One, two, three, four, five. And serratus anterior is very stiff. So also muscle which is responsible for exhaling. So breathe out and also a lot of function like in the scapular. For responsibility for protraction and retraction in the shoulder. So if there is a lot of power, pressure coming through the upper body very often becomes overworking. Tense and then it's pulling our scapular down and, f and shoulders forward, so it's giving us a lot of problem. Same like uh, overworking uh, lats. But that would be the best actually method for most of uh, kyphotic people, yes, or uh, which coming with the overworking, over tension, yes. So that helps to this position on the foam roller exactly and breathing. It helps to open up the chest and shoulders and uh, increase the range of motion for the shoulders to be able to uh, perform all of this exercise. 
And then right after that kind of mobilization, yes, we can start stretching. Then we can do active stretch. At the beginning, active stretch is not gonna help us because we have too much uh, trigger points, the tension which is holding the muscles and not letting us to go to even proper stretch. The movement, yes, one, two, three. That's why the, the, this is the difference of uh, medical training than just doing mobility or uh, stretching. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That we are using the, the techniques from physiotherapy. Okay, yes. <laughs> Here. <laughs> going, 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 going. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and let's see uh, already. But we can we can tell that the shoulder, see, it's nice and elastic, touching yeah. here without any problem. Yes, and we are even on foam roller, so we are not even straight. Yes, we are lower than this, so shoulder already reach without me necessarily putting pressure here and stretching with the pain, giving you with the pain. It's already loose nicely. Yeah, that's, we can, that's what I remember yes. from from sport. What when you used do it. Uh huh. Let's say three, even three times per week is not that much pain as for me now because mm -hmm. I didn't do it long years. A long time. Yes. Long time, yeah. A lot of years I don't do mm -hmm. because. So now I realize again what I really needed. Your the, the proper technique you would need. Yes? Yeah, not of just course. Increasing the stretch. Yes, okay. That's why if you do. Professional sports, you need the master, same as Adam. <laughs> he knows his yeah. job, he'll help you a lot, same as he is helping me uh -huh. now. Okay. There we go. Here, and we can press. Yes. Okay, and now much better eh, with this one. Eh? When yeah. you press, you feel that it's going through. In here, in this position, I also I can reach the trigger points. So around the scapula, so those rotators in here. Yeah, I have a big pain over there. Yeah. Another reason if the scapula is not functioning properly, not rotating in a good way, has to compensate somewhere else. And then we have this knots over there created, this trigger points around the scapula, which is limiting us from the movement, and then they cause pain as well. So that's also very important would be to do a lot of exercises for the rotator cuff muscles yeah. to uh, provide the stability for the for our shoulder for the joint. So mobility, stability, very, very important component. If we talk about the healthy shoulders, you may see uh, in the future I'm gonna open up the program for bulletproof shoulders, so it will be available to go through the program and and get the all videos, information, and exercise to practice. Okay, now you can fight against me with the shoulder a little bit. So we're gonna be up with the shoulder. So lift up this one. Yes, head. One, two, three, four, five, and down. And loose, loose, loose. Very easy, eh? And then go. One, two, three, four, five, and loose. Okay, that's a technique in here, peer technique, which is helping us to improve in better. Go, 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 by the movement. So this is mobilization technique by the movement, increasing rotation. Yes, and then I'm requiring you to work with me together. That is for the longer results. If someone is doing just a massage for you, it's nice, but it's not that really effective. I absolutely agree with you. Yes, there you go, here. Yes. This is so uh, front deltoid and chest connection here very often becomes <laughs> overworking and painful, yes? That area. So at the beginning, there was so t everything was so tight, so it was very hard for me to even reach to those points because the muscles were protecting everything. Now when I open up by uh, uh, this method, I'm able to reach to those places which are already actually causing a pain and problem in the shoulder. Yes, very good. And here, loose. Keep breathing, and now here we go, up, 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 one, two, three, four, okay, loose, very good, and again, one, 
Yes, one, two, three, four, loose. And again, one. One, two, three, four, and loose. Okay, here, hold it. And we can stretch the tissue first, yes, as well. So in here, close to the clavicle, upper chest region. Yes, it's gonna be tight and it's gonna hold the shoulder. And then throughout the anterior and in here, the muscles, the small muscles in here on the rib cage on the front. Yes, one, two, three. And the shoulder is going down. Keep breathing. One, two, three, four, five. Another uh, important thing why I start doing activation for the diaphragm as well. For him to be able to breathe during the mobilization. Imagine if you wouldn't breathe, you would have the shallow breathing. You would be very, very slow <laughs> effect, yes? You wouldn't work properly. <laughs> yes, and then we will be able to take the stress off. And yeah, all nice. Okay, we can stand up from the foam roller. Let's see. So again, guys, Adam just reminded me my years in professional sports. We, our doctors, which is next to, to us all the times, they are doing this technique. And why? Because they want to reach us top. And prevent injuries yes. at the same time. Yes, yes. Yeah. It helps a lot. One yeah. hour to working with muscles and on the next day you feel yeah. absolutely imagine, different. Imagine yeah. training like yeah. that all the time on a yes. strong, yeah? yeah, bringing so much tension and yes. then don't stretch out, don't so uh, even, care about the rehab proper. Yeah, yes, the so even now, for example, when I did bars, you can turn a camera, please. We use parallel bars, yeah? So especially on the parallel bars, when you do swings forward, you use your shoulders mobility a lot, mm -hmm. yeah? And two we days don't. ago, for me, it was very difficult because I, I feel pain in my shoulders, in my chest, because I really need to open my shoulders and my chest to do huge and high swing forward. Now I feel much more better, I will able to do it again. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. No problem. Adam. We didn't finish yet. Uh, yeah. Still hips, we need to go. Hips, because if you have a tension in the hips, then everything will come back. Now I release the tension from here, from the shoulders, from the chest. But if we're not, not going to address the hips, all the tension will bring it back again. Can I try to do swings now? Just to, to, just to see? Just to yes. see if it's better. Sh show me the first uh, reverse plank position. Uh, to stretch out the active stretching first, yeah? So like, yeah. like this, yes. and then That's show me this. Yes. And then this one, it, uh, this position helps to open up. Okay. And here, the thoracic spine region and improve the shoulder extension. So active stretching in here with activation. So Like this? Yes, yeah, so this one a little bit higher here. Okay. Yes, looking up. Yes, and in here you fully go. One, and two, three, four. Five, six, seven. So for the gymnastics, it's very important in here to yes. be able to support the lower back. So this position is going to be perfect for you to work on the lower back, activate the glutes, and all the time working on mo shoulder mobility by improving extension for the shoulder and for the T-spine. In here for the shoulders is much better, only what we would have to work in here to improve in here, hips and well, lower back, to bring you even higher. So to be honest with you, uh -huh. one week ago I got injured uh -huh. in my chest. So again, when I did parallel bars, swings, every day I do minimum 30 minutes of warm up, yeah? And then something happened with my, one of mm -hmm. the muscle on my chest, yeah? Mm -hmm. And tight. We, yeah, I feel tight. I couldn't even stand, stand uh -huh. on front support on the bars, uh -huh. but because of you and your this technique, yeah. technique, yeah. I, f I don't feel anymore. Get, get your hands closer together, closer, no, closer. Yeah, yeah, and no. Oh. Yeah. Yes, I don't feel up. any more pain anymore, in, yeah? in my chest. Yeah. Yes, much better. But because we loosen up everything yeah. here. Yes. Now so, to be able to improve your lower back, you would have to work on the hips. But you can go. go yeah, try, let me yeah? try. Just to don't. See. Just remember see. always after that kind of mobilization, it's not really recommended to put the pressure back. Yeah? No, I, just will, I will do just front support to see. If yes, so you can yeah, yeah. go ahead. If my chest is, ah, let me use the high bar yeah. here. Just front support, nothing hard. Uh -huh. Because before I couldn't able to hold uh -huh. front support, I, uh -huh. I feel a pain in my chest. Yes.
Yes. Guys, it's amazing. I don't feel any pain. No pain. No? So. Okay. okay, nice. Good. So a few days ago, not few, one week ago, I got injured in my chest. One of the muscle of my chest was hurting me a lot and I couldn't able to stay on mm -hmm. front support. And I, I know what Adam is master and I see immediately result. So let me try to go to handstand once. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah. To see. Yeah, it's amazing. Yes. Here Wait, is the what? master. <laughs> he is the master. Uh, still improving, man. Good. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's true. That's true. Yeah. My chest was hurting me. Yeah. So now, uh -huh. master, my shoulders ready to do. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Tuck support, and then only by your shoulders up. Uh -huh. Straight. That's the first technique. Uh -huh. Second, with bent arms. Same as you see, mm -hmm. we are using shoulders a lot Here. and everywhere. To do this yeah. movement, yes? Yes. Uh -huh. So if you feel in your chest pain, you will not able to do. No. If you or feel in the front of the shoulder. Yes. Well, yes. Also, if you feel pain in your shoulder, mm -hmm. you will not able to do that. Or elbow. Elbow, elbow. wrist, everything. Yes. That's why Adam is can help you a lot if you do again sport on high level, gymnastics, yeah. rugby, wherever. This is what I used to face a lot in the street workout as well. When I was training and I was not always spending enough time for mobility yeah. and I was feeling pain. And then I stopped doing it. I had to stop totally because it was getting worse and worse and yeah. would lead to injury. And then I started doing mobility by improving. And then I see like, okay, this is very important to go. So, and the thing is... In the uh, young age. Uh, as yeah. I'm a coach, yeah, I see the, the, how people are think. They think, oh, mm -hmm. if they injury, if they got uh, injured, they are, they are thinking, okay, we, we will rest. Yes, only they are rest, not yeah. going to, to hospital. They are not looking they for, they, yeah. for therapist. They are thinking, ah, it's okay. Or they okay. look for the pain solution. Take a pill, yeah, 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 get yeah. rest, yes. a pain yes. will disappear. But yes. will, the tension yeah. around the joint and around the muscle will not disappear. The yes. sugar point is going to be still there. So you need to face the problem properly and then use the proper techniques to recover and get the proper re rehab. Like proper rehab and recovery training is not just resting and laying down. Yeah. Taking a break from the training, but then should be a it should be a break from the training which you were doing but adapting ad another training yes yes so i have i have the clients who are like that uh -huh. yeah they are thinking what well, okay it's well, okay, it's, it's need time to be recovered but yes. it's not like this no. so you need a really therapist mm -hmm. next to you who gonna help you to do what you like to do in your life okay let's and see your hips now we can see if we can loosen up the tension from your lower back because I think there was limitation, lay down on the back. Yes, normally lay down on the back. So there was a problem with the uh, rotation in the hip, yes? So here, here, especially this one. So it's uh, your left hip and your right shoulder as well, yes? Right shoulder. So here we have a missing rotation, especially inwards rotation, yes? Yeah, so it's as soon I'm gonna take that one in, put over here, yeah, to support, yes, and then we can see, okay, this is very tight. And what I would work first to get your leg here and be able to mobilize fully with this. You okay, can't come coming through. So pulling, checking how we can improve this rotation here. With the leg, one, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, and then pull. 
So this is a traction in here to the joint and then I can reach the trigger point much more effective. At the same time by holding in here I can loosen up the tension under the knee from the hamstring and the calf as well. A global fix for from, starting from the hip so for the whole leg. Okay, and I see the tension gets a little bit smaller. So I go around the hip joint capsule in here and then I see, okay, the hip rotator in here is tight. You feel the tension here, which is limiting us from proper in here rotation. Yeah, so as soon as I can, I did a little bit of work and we see, okay, rotation is already in here more smooth, especially that side, yes? better. And then to be able to finish this, shoulder down, we go. There's the rotators here. So I can press four. Yes, and then I need you to breathe. So we go with the shoulder in and up. Down, 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 and all the way. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, Five, loose. This is uh, all muscle tapes, the TLF. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, now try to uh, go with the scapular down. So depress the scapular, no shoulder, scapular. So what is moving with the scapular? Only here. So see, this is scapular movement here. And yeah, going down, depress. Okay, and now shoulder. Good. And again, down and shoulder. Down and shoulder in. That is going to be a huge impact for improving in here uh, shoulder movement proper. And so from the scapula and improving sh shoulder blades. Yeah, so scapular rotation and the function. Down. Yes. Go on. Down. One, two, three, four, five. Because we need to remember that the scapula is creating a base for the shoulder. So. If there is not function properly, then there's lack of stability in the shoulder at the same time. Okay, down, 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 down. Going, 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 low and breathing. Yes, we forgot. Deep breathing, we want. In, in there is a tension in the T-spine, yes? That's so the, what I found. Yes, that's the, yes, my biggest the program yes. problem for now. Yes. One, that's two, what, what waking me yes. in the Four. night. Good. Going, 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 going. And on. And again, one, two, three, four. So this this one is waking up you in uh, at night, yes? You mm -hmm. wake up with a pain here mm -hmm. in a uh, thoracic spine region. There is a muscle which is supporting the spine, so it becomes tight. Then it's not letting us to properly rotate the yes upper body. That's why I say that we need to go down to be able to fix your shoulder fully. In other way, it's not gonna make any sense. This is what very often you can see that I'm gonna go to physio yeah. and they're gonna do only, okay, I fix your shoulder rotation, yes? But then the problem is coming back again. But again, yes. again, I can say true about the physio in Dubai. Yes. Uh -huh. you, really, you really need to pay attention they to where you're going. Yes, yes, yes because- and it can be I, totally disaster. <laughs> I, did, I did nine uh -huh. physio. Uh -huh. And what I was saying to physiotherapist, she was giving me exercises uh -huh. and I was saying, no, I cannot do that. I still have a lot of pain. I even cannot yes. to, to lift my hand. Uh -huh. And she said, no, you just continue to do that. She didn't mm -hmm. check me. She just she didn't yeah, yes, do any she proper just, scan for, she you, just, for your body, nothing. Yes, eh? yes. she just yes. gave me gave me uh, exercise and she was saying, oh, just do it, just do it. And you I think the problem is that they don't come from any sport background. Yes. They don't work with the sport people yes. or they never train anything. Yes. They are not active. So they don't understand how the body yes. works exactly. under the pressure of training. And that's the most important here, yes? Yeah. What really people need, especially high athletes, high performance athletes. And now we're gonna yeah, press against me. Yeah, more. One, two, three, four, five, down. Again, again. One, there you go, go, go. One, two, three, four, five, down. Loose. And again. One, two, three, four, five, loose. Okay, and again. One, more, 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 more. One, two, three, four, five, loose. Okay, and oh. let's see. Yeah, so we're gonna press here, hold it. Relaxing. 
debriefing. One, two, three, four, five. That's okay. it. Now, we remember we did the test before. Yes, how the shoulder was up, it was like this, here, yes? And now, it's touching the ground, yes? Now it's touching, hip is going down, and shoulder is touching the ground. And you are able to go even here with the scapular, down, depress, depress the scapular, yes, and then depress the scapular, so push, and push the shoulder in and up. So now we have a proper range of motion for the shoulder here. Plus, we solved the problem with the hip and with the lower back and T-spine at the same time. So now, check the both hands of the shoulders, eh? how you feel the difference. Here you go. <laughs> Which one <Yeah>. feels looser? <laughs> you see everything, guys. <laughs> I don't need to say anything. Yeah. When yeah. you are working with professional, you see a result. Yeah. So you are not saying, ah, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You, you don't need to say anything. You just see and feel amazing result. Yeah, so we work on this shoulder and see how far he goes. Eh? One year ago, I don't know what happened with me with this shoulder. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't able to relax it like this. Uh -huh. If if I try to relax, I have a pain like like needles, not not even yeah like needles are pushing somewhere. Inside it's, there. Yeah, inside there. And I thought, okay, again I went to the hospital. They they scanned my shoulder. They didn't find anything they gave me first five of physio it's also didn't help me waste time yeah in that time the physiotherapist was saying i ah, just do this exercise into the wall yeah yeah yes, <laughs> they, must, yeah, they always yeah, add what yes, i ask people yes. with the pain of the shoulder they always do the same exercise but, into the wall but i was ex i was saying it's not, to that, her, it's not that this is bad exercise it's okay but this is not enough you yeah. cannot fix the shoulder yes in the same way with the one exercise yeah? so i did five physiotherapy <laughs> And then I asked for another five, but I did nine, mm -hmm. yeah? And after nine, I said, no, I will not come again anymore. Mm -hmm. So it was before my vacation. I thought, okay, I will go to vacation. I will find the doctor in Ukraine. I am from Ukraine and maybe I need injury, surgery, mm -hmm. sorry. Maybe I need surgery. I went to Ukraine and my doctor in Ukraine, he said, no, you don't need any surgery. You just, as you yeah, said, yes, yeah. yes you need work. just this. And then I thought, okay, where I can find this in Dubai? <laughs> I had experience with physiotherapists, yeah. And when you have bad experience, yeah, you don't want to go there. <laughs> yeah, you, you think what everyone are like this. Go there, waste money and <laughs> yes, time and yes, everything. Yes, yeah. yes. So people, again, please, if you have pain, yeah, and in the hospitals they are saying everything fine, or they cannot to find your problem. Here is the Adam. He really can help you. Once you come and try, but yes, the fix. <laughs> you will be fixed. That's what I feel now. Awesome. Okay. Thank you.